A dream. How to describe it in the shortest possible way? I was dreaming, it opened my memory. That smile shared as beans and faces, fuzzy but known very well. Especially that one, the face I will always keep in my dreams. I remember so many faces. They live in me, they si their sights, sadnesses, and sorrows. A dream like that is priceless. And we have to earn it for our life. For example, if you have never dreamed of pain, if you have never lived through pain, then you will never dream of pain. But if you have never felt in love, and you will never dream of love. A dream like that is just like death. And to die, it doesn't mean only once. Just like every night dream. But how many times do you have to die before you truly die? Hmm. To be honest, we die a little bit with everyone in our life who leaves us. They pass away, but they leave us with their death, and we have to endure it. And after that, only dreams are left. And no one can truly tell the difference between those two. Here's life, here's a dream. Here's life, and here's a dream. Always when partisans used to come to our village, our village was getting more and more alive. I mean, it wasn't like that from the beginning. At first, as they came, fright and fell for us. Their faces were so tremendous. But with time, they started visiting us with their homemade beer. And then it could get pretty fun at times. Girls were playing and dancing in circles, and boys didn't even have to invite them to. The partisans all drank, danced, and played. Each time there was less of them. But they still got fun in our village. Always, when I think about their visits, it reminds me of how I became a partisan. Wait, before the dusk, we have to reach the forest for a place to sleep. But look around how wonderful weather today is. Yeah, it's much better than yesterday in rainy weather. Rainy or sunny, or time is not to care about the weather. But before we rest in the forest, maybe we look around for something to eat. Hey, there's a cellar. Maybe it's a dugout? <laughs> So pretty and young. 
and her eyes were huge. She was staring at me, and I was just feeling helpless. Oh, it looks like today we're having water with potatoes for dinner, and tomorrow potatoes with water. Have you gotten anything else? Uh. <gasps> Petro jam? Unbelievable. My mouth goes to do the same. <laughs> what a smell. Look, there's more. So, what is your name? Why are you so shy? Can't you speak? Doesn't matter. Boy, we're taking the food and we're also taking you. You will be a good man. I went with them because what else could I really do? I admit that I could sit in that dugout for ages. But it was simply too late for me to just shout for them to leave me alone. to say even a word. It was like I forgot every single word I have ever learned. Simply I was almost mute. Call me a sister. Everyone calls me in that way. Just say sister. Say sister. No, see, step. You don't want to speak? Fine. Come, you want to help me? I have got lots of fun to watch. Hey, buddy. My name is Taku. And where's your sister? Is she taking a bath? Oh, there she is. I'm going to help you with the laundry. Oh, hey, kiddo. I'm Yannick. Uh, come on. Uh, tell me, have you ever played drops? Come on, sit, I'll teach you. You can win by removing my pointers just like that. It's not hard as it seemed before, right? And since then, Yannick and I have always played drops together. I couldn't read very well at the time, so sister did for me. 
she always read me a bedtime story before we went to sleep. She tried to warm herself, said some. No one imagined what beautiful things she had seen, nor into what glory she had entered into with her grandmother on New Year's Day. The end. Oh, the little match girl, my friend! She has just fallen asleep. So, may I ask you, sister? Very scared of him. Dear Christ, dear Christ, what I would give to be between her legs. A guy would know what he was fighting for. They are going to kill us anyway. What a difference would it make to her? Wanna take a look? What are you doing? You can't look at her in that way. Relax. You are a boy. And that's exactly what boys need. As your conscience, I forbid you. Remember what she said? Only you can stare at her. Only you. It's important to others than at her. <coughs> and that would be a no. Uh, anyway, she has just stopped dressing up. Go and get ready for a bonfire. destroying my world. So I'm fighting against evil, but evil grows in me every day. When I'm killing, I feel better, and it's getting less of me. Do you remember when not long ago no one disturbed this peace? I don't want the situation from the first world to take place once again. But after there was someone who asked me, where are you from? And my answer would be, I'm from Poland. I want that man to feel respect to me, instead of ask where there is no country like Poland. We are free people. We have our own country. We are Poles. And how about you, Janek? I'm fighting for going back to my home, to my wife. You 
must love her so much. You're damn right I do. Z piersi młodej się wyrwało w wielkim bólu i rozterce i za wojskiem poleciało zakochane czyjeś serce. Tę piosenkę, tę jedyną Śpiewam dla ciebie, dziewczyno Może także jest w rozterce Zakochane twoje serce Może bez nadziei nie kochasz I po nocach też piszczasz Tę piosenkę, tę jedyną Śpiewam dla ciebie, dziewczyno Because there is still a place for him in her heart. 
He's her husband. So she met someone only to forget about husband? Because if yes, it has never been love. Do you know anything about love? She will ever love him and he will love her. Who knows what is he doing with partisans? Maybe he's not loyal to How her. can you say such a thing? It has no sense. I don't even know his address. I don't even know if he's still alive. began to choke with fear that in a moment she would lie down and stop moving. So I began to undress as well. Oh, <laughs> so you're going with me? Don't be afraid. I will be right by you. Come. I wasn't afraid. I was a pretty good swimmer after all. <laughs> and besides, she swam by me. And when he got to the other side, he sat on the shore. And for me, it was only this once. feel things deeper than if you'd ever understood them. Plus, you see everything. Life cannot be concealed from anyone, and least of all a child. There is no curtain you can use to hide behind, because a child will even see through that curtain. she came back, I would pretend that I had just woken up. And then she would tell me that she was just taking a bath, as at night no one was watching her. Did she lie? I cannot really tell. From the perspective of time, 
I may only assume. <coughs> but there was this one night when I was pretending to sleep. And I suddenly heard a cry. <laughs> You're not asleep. probably never suspected that as I was watching her, I felt as if I was being enriched that all by all her hurt and her pain. No, it wasn't like I felt sympathy for her. Besides, the slope really requires sympathy. What I'm trying to say is that I felt like her existence was a part of my existence. run away. Don't do this. Don't listen to her. They are men on the war. They sometimes need to rest. They can't kill enemy over and over. They are cheating on their wives. You are overreacting. Only Yannick has a wife. I am overreacting? He made an oath before they got himself. Fine. Leave Yannick alone. He made an oath. It doesn't mean that Sakum will do such a thing with her. You can have them only in this way. Because you want to have them. Am I right? Of course I do. You are helping them. <laughs> You are dressing the wounds, you are taking care of them, but they need more. She's a nurse, not a whore! She is the only girl here. Why do you always get to keep her everything? Just go! Don't! Go! Don't! Go! Sister? <sighs> Since I remember, I was always scared of stuff. But that day, he wasn't scared. Everything has lost its sense that day. I feel empty since then. It has appeared in <coughs> me, and it always will. Forever. You shouldn't dress my wounds. You shouldn't. Why did you endanger her? This is where people die. She was so kind, so young. Enough! Our nurse passed away. Sister, you will stay in our hearts forever. God bless you. Rest in peace. She died that day. I loved her like I did no one else. Sometimes I had the feeling like she gave me my life. Love! What we knew back then about love. You know something about love when you are older. Some people know something about love at the end of their lives. Because love is not who you sleep with, love is who you want to die with. I had a dream today, you know. She came to me. Or she came for me. Finally. Sometimes when I dream about her, I don't want to wake up. And even if I do, everything still looks like a dream. So, I am sitting here and waiting for her. I hope she will come for me. I hope she will come and bring peace to my thoughts. And I still see her everywhere, and I feel her everywhere, like a dog.